Welcome to another episode of Jacked Up Garage. I recently bought this S13. We haven't really had time to have a proper look at it. We're going to be getting it up on the hoist today and giving it a good check over to see whether I'm going to keep it and restore it or I'm going to be selling it on to someone else. Um, it's, it's always been a dream car of mine. I really love the fact that it's rear wheel drive. It's got the uh, SR20 in it and it's got the turbo in here and it's a manual. So it has potential to be a really cool car but I know that it needs a lot of work. So yeah, we're gonna be seeing if it's worth the effort. Today, we're gonna to be using a point system to determine whether we're gonna keep this car or not. We've got a total of 40 points. If we get 20 or more, we're gonna keep the car. Anything less than 20, we're gonna palm this off to someone else that's got a little bit more time. So we're gonna be scoring four parts of the car. Exterior out of 10, interior out of 10, underbody, once we've got it on the hoist, out of 10, and then engine health and engine bay, out of 10. So let's start with the interior. We're gonna start off with the seats. These seats are actually out of an S15, Sylvia. They're in pretty good shape in terms of the bolsters and the foam. The, where, where they fall short is they got a bit of sun fade. I don't know what that's sort of gonna cost to, to repair. We're gonna move on to the electronics. Everything in the vehicle actually work so all your electric mirrors all your climate control all your fog lights your indicators everything which is super surprising for a 31 year old vehicle we're then going to move on to the dash this dash is cracked very common especially for the age um, it kind of bums me out to, to look at it but you can get a dash mat which would cover it I'll, I'll see how i feel about that and then where it also for shorts is the door cards they split they sun damage they they swelling and they would need to be repaired um, by an upholsterer to get it done because obviously you don't want it to look shabby when you when you show up to car shows so yeah i would say overall for its age this car has potential in here um, it falls short on the on, on the three points that i mentioned and i would probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. So we filmed the opening scene showing this side of the vehicle, which pro probably looked pretty good, but you're in for a treat because this thing in terms of body is not the greatest. It's got many stone chips and light rust. It's got dents on the, the bonnet that you can't really see probably in the video. And then you've obviously got this obvious one, the front bar. It's been cracked. Someone said it was OEM, but someone's tried to cut this out. I'm not sure on that one. We then move around here. We've got an old repair, which is sun faded and damaged. Someone's tried to blow it in. You can see on the door, it doesn't kind of blend. And then this has been pushed in. So it's had a little fender bender, and you can see it's meant to be flush with that, but it no longer is. So that's gonna need to be repaired and pushed back. And then... <laughs> Bit of cancer. Yeah, we've got light bubbling on this back window, it's all around here. Probably if you push the screwdriver through there, it'll go straight through, which is not good. Sounds expensive. The same thing on this rear side mirror. We've got rust around the rubber and a few rust spots there. And then this is probably the most concerning part is I think this quarter's been replaced before and there's rust here and it goes underneath there and it's been actually hit here before probably that's how the rust got in so I would imagine that a panel beater would have to do some serious work to get this body straight again for for paint so unfortunately um, it doesn't score great I'll probably give it a four out of ten um, and the reason I'm probably being so generous is because of its age. It's 31 years old, um, it's to be expected. But yeah, these th things like this are expensive and uh, we unfortunately can't repair it. So we'd have to pay someone else to do it. So yeah, that's where we're at, a four out of 10 for the body. It looks like the engine bay's lost a few points already. This is where the car was sitting before and that's power steering fluid and that's engine fluid. So yeah, let's have a look under the underbody. 
This is the first time we've looked under here and it looks like everything's still standard. So this has got a few Ks on it, it's over 200. So realistically, most of these bushes are gonna need to be changed. Um, like subframe bushes, sway by links. Um, it's got some really garbage coilovers. Uh, max speeding rods is like $150 new. Um, so realistically, most of these bushes do need to be changed. But in saying that, it's a 30, 30 year old car, can't expect too much. Rails are really good. That's one of our biggest concerns um, because these are, are drift cars and when most people own them, so they get banged up. Um, realistically, these, these rails, the seals, they're all in good condition. So that's a positive. That's definitely winning a few points in our eyes. Um, it's got a nice exhaust, three inch exhaust. Realistically, everything's not too bad. Um, like, yeah, same, same as the front. Needs a few new bushes, sway by links. Um, it's got some nice caster rods in it. These are better coilovers, HSD coilovers, so we just realistically need to change the rears. Otherwise, it's not too bad under here. I'll probably give it a five, just because the rails are in good condition, but we're gonna need to replace all, most of these bushes just because they're in pretty poor condition, so I'll give it a five. Engine bay. Not looking too bad. It doesn't look like the fenders have been off. There's no rust around the towers or anything like that. Actually in quite good condition, to be fair, for a 30 year old car. The problem does arise when we start talking about the engine. We got a fair few leaks. Um, power steering, high pressure hose, absolutely leaking like a sieve. The engine itself up here, not too bad. When it comes to the timing cover and front crank seal, yes. Yeah, it's leaking quite bad. Looks like someone that wasn't a mechanic has, has had a go at this. Pretty dodgy, um, lots of little dodgy things that need to be tidied up. Take hose, not secure, wiring not secure properly. Um, hoses are looking a little bit shabby, terrible welding there. Um, even the boot, the master, brake master cylinder is leaking a little bit. Um, otherwise not too bad. Um, you can't really expect much for such an old car that's probably been through a lot of hands and a lot of people have worked on this engine because um, this is a tuner's car. Lots of people like to work on these things. So I think I'll reserve my number until we have a look at the compression of the engine. That should give us a good idea whether or not this thing is still healthy and worth restoring or not. Quick overview on how to compression test a vehicle. First thing you need to do is take out all your core packs, all your spark plugs, disable the fuel. We're gonna disable the fuel as well. So we've just removed the injector plugs. That'll stop the injectors from firing the fuel into the cylinders. You don't want fuel going into the cylinders as you're compression testing it. Might give you a bit of a dud reading. Um, we're gonna chuck a battery pack on the battery just to make sure that we've got all the battery power that we need. And then the last thing, we're gonna to need to go wide open throttle. Make sure we're getting all the air as we can into the cylinders, gives us an accurate reading. So Travi, what do you reckon we're gonna get? Dude, um, I don't know. I'm hoping, what's stock standard? Stock right? standard is about 160, I'd say, for a turbo motor, since so, um, uh, this is a turbo motor. So we don't wanna to go too much lower than that. I think one between 100 and 120 um, is a tired-ish motor. Um, uh, yeah, I guess yeah. I'm guessing 135, 140. Yeah, that'd be ideal. That, that'd, that'd be, be happy that'd with be that. about a 30 year old motor that uh, has been driven pretty hard. So hopefully we don't go too much lower than that. And then uh, yeah, hopefully we can decide whether or not this is going to be worth it. So just put on the accelerator. Yeah, full. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what is it? Oh no. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's about 125. Oh, it's low. Definitely low. Oh. Well, let's check let's, the let's others. Let's see the rest of them. Let's see the others. Cylinder two, Travi, let's go. <laughs> yep. 
What are we at? Mm. Not good. What one, is it? 120. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Still on the three, Trudy. Yep. Any better? Just over 120. Still on the four, Trudy. Yep. Land? Just over 120. We're very worried about these compression tests because <laughs> 120 is very tight. We're we're a bit stressy now. Yeah, I think I think uh, 128 like minimum. Oh, like yeah, around that 130 is like the, that's when you want to start rebuilding the car. So 120, yeah. it doesn't feel underpowered. So we're a bit skeptical of what's going on. This we we're running the like the normal thread in line, but the O-ring on it's a bit average. I don't know, we're a bit skeptical, we're not we're not too sure about it. So we're just gonna give this one a crack, see how this goes. Um, this is just your direct fit, you hold it in there and you get your compression reading that way. So let's just give that a crack. Go for it. Yep. What did you get? 150! <laughs> no ways! No it way. The, it was the tester. Dude, I was having heart failure, man. <laughs> I was so bummed. Woo. You sure? Yeah, 150. have a look. <laughs> there we go. Dude, man. It's not bad. Oh, I was thinking, getting ready to <laughs> put this thing up on Marketplace. I'm gonna sell it tomorrow. Yep, nah, well, there you go. 150, mm. let's test the rest of them and hopefully they're all yeah. pretty good. Well, let's not get too over the moon. We could have a dud cylinder. So all the cylinders are within five PSI, which means this is somewhat healthy engine. So we're really stoked about that. We were, we were getting a bit bummed that the, the compression was a bit low there. Yeah, so I, was, glad, I was super bummed. Yeah, glad, glad we tried the other compression tester. So um, yeah, we're, it's healthy. So I think we're gonna give this whole engine bay and engine health a six. A six? Yeah, a six. So I reckon- So that's yep, 21.5. 21 we're rebuilding it. So yeah, in the upcoming videos, I reckon we're gonna do a bit of a series on it and we're gonna be bringing this up to a restored state. It's not gonna be absolutely perfect. We're not gonna um, go to like show car spec, but we're gonna, we're gonna restore Like an eight, eight out of 10 kind of vibe? Yeah, or? eight out of 10, yeah. maybe nine out of 10. Um, and yeah, we're gonna restore it to a nice, nice point again. So yeah. Yeah, thank you again for watching this episode. If you like what you see, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode.